What's up, YouTube? Back again with another hard body video today. Man, we got a we got a few things to do. I don't know exactly what we're about to be doing, but uh, I'll tell you what I got left, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, I got my intercooler pretty much set up how I want it. Um, I have to. So I just cut these uh, pipes how I need them. So I got to get in here and I got to clean all this up because there's a bunch of burrs in here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, a bunch of little metal shavings. I got to clean that up. Um, then mounts, right? So I got to figure out how I'm going to mount this thing. So it's going to sit pretty much like this and we have plenty of hood clearance. So I have bolt holes here and I got the same two on the back of it. So I don't know. I got to figure out, um, basically I got to make some mounts. So that's one thing that I have to do. It came with this little kit, so I at least got the bolts. I don't know if these little brackets are gonna be helpful at all, but hey, if we can use them, we will. So next. So this is the stock hard body radiator, and it would be extremely nice if I could use this. The only problem is, as you know, on KAs, the inlet and outlet for the radiator is on the passenger side or as the water neck on the SRs here on the driver's side. So I don't know exactly what to do about that yet, but we'll figure that out. But yeah, check it out. I got exhaust. So full three inch exhaust, custom exhaust. I got V bands on there so I can take stuff off where I need to. Even got a down pipe made up. I don't know if you guys can see that. V band down pipe made up. So, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. That thing sucks. Let's try that.
Okay, guys. So, that was a bitch, not gonna lie. Okay, so, see here, I mounted this um, little, little bracket I made. I mounted it to the firewall here. That was the easy one because that one had a threaded hole in the wall already. And I went to this side. There was a hole in the wall, but it wasn't threaded. So, I had to go on the back side of the firewall by peeling this crap up. And, uh, yeah, trying to get my hand in there. Holding the bolt. Probably can't see. You can't see. But anyway, you can imagine trying to squeeze your hand in this little tiny slot back there. I had to hold a 10 millimeter nut on the back of the firewall from like this angle. It'd be so much easier if I had some help, but I got it in there. We got the uh, two back mounts mounted up for this top mount intercooler. So I'm gonna just figure something out for these two here. Probably bam right down to the um, valve cover or maybe the top of the intake manifold. And another one, yeah, probably valve cover as well. I don't know, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good. Just a little bit more stability across the top here, and I think we're gonna be A1. So yeah, let's get to that, and then I'll check back in with you guys here in a minute. Okay, so where we're at now is we got this little mount made up. I found this little L bracket, so this isn't connected here, just so you can see. Found this little random little L bracket in my uh, little toolbox shit over there. So bolted that to here. So then I had to make something to connect to it. So what I did is I got this uh, plate steel and I cut out a little template. Here's my template you can see. And I basically just cut this out of metal. And that's right here. I drilled a hole in it from my drill press over there. And as you can see, it's going to be a perfect little mount. I'll, cl I'll clean it up, make it look a little nicer. But basically, that's the gist of it right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, clean this stuff up. And I'm going to weld this together. Put some paint on it so we don't deal with rust or anything like that. And yeah, and we'll put it all back on and see how it looks, see how it's holding up. Okay, so as you saw, I went ahead and took the time to clean these cuts up so we don't get any, you know, metal shavings in the intercooler. That'd be bad. Um, where are we at? So yeah, I did that while this is drying. Just painted it black just to keep it, keep it a little discreet. So... We're about to hook this thing up. Let me set you guys up real quick. Now. That bad boy on there.
Oh, dude, that's perfect. Look at that. That shit ain't going nowhere. I don't even think I'm gonna run another bracket on here. That thing's not gonna move at all. It's a pretty funky design. I might end up like rounding it over or something, but I mean, shit, it does the job. Look at it. Cool. Alright guys, I found this uh, e-fan in the back of my garage. I just hooked it up, tested it, it works, so that's good. Actually, I better find out if this is a puller or a pusher. So, let's see here. This is gonna be temporary. I guess we'll find out if it works well enough. But look, I drilled some holes in the side here, and then this the stock radiator has uh, holes all the way down the stock uh, hard body radiator. So I'm gonna line this bad boy up in my trusty zip ties. I don't know if you guys can see, I just kind of set the camera up there, so hopefully you can see. Oh shit, I put it in upside down. What a retard. See how this works out. It's pretty even that side. Need some pliers or something. Chicken, man. Oh, nice. Cat soup. Soup cat. Holy shit. Okay. Now, try and put this thing in here. See how it fits. Like a glove. That's what I'm talking about. Plenty of clearance. Cool. Now I just gotta find a ra uh, radiator hose that could go like this. My bottom one already lines up. If you can see. Money. Shit. We're getting close. Okay guys, gonna wrap it up here, but I feel pretty accomplished. We got 
we got a good chunk done and honestly we have very 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 little left um yeah so as you saw we ended up making that bracket making the back brackets and this thing's super sturdy like it's not really going nowhere <clears throat> fan got the fan hooked up to the radiator radiator's all mounted stock radiator so it's like you know stock mounting locations yeah so we don't really have much i'm waiting for a coupler to come in uh for you know the turbo to the intercooler piping <laughs> just got to build something off of the turbo for the math to stick out here still got to do the power steering reservoir with the two return lines and connect some fuel lines uh, I got a little list over here, but pretty much that's pretty much, you know, we're, we're close. So yeah. Anyway, just want to say thanks for checking out the video and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.